Ant-Man review. This calls for me to shrink into ant mode. Whoa, I wouldn't mind being an ant. Back to my regular height. Whoa! <laughs> Ant-Man, directed by uh, Peace and Reed, and is the 12th installment in the MCU overall. How could I forget to mention in my Age of Ultron review that that was the 11th installment? So, so Ant-Man tells the story of uh, uh, Hank uh, Pymer, who's to save his company from a villain who you'll forget about, Darren Cross. So he recruits uh, the master thief, uh, uh, Scott Langer, who, after serving his time in jail, has finally been bailed out, sir. Uh, and Scott Lang uh, intends on uh, uh, providing and uh, doing uh, the best uh, for his daughter Cassie and uh, 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 Hanger Pimer gives uh, Scott Lang uh, the suits uh, which uh, shrinks him uh, down uh, to uh, a man who's no bigger than a tiny ant. Uh, with the shrinking suit, uh, with the help of uh, Hank Pimer's uh, daughter Wasp, uh, he uh, must uh, confront uh, uh, and uh, defeat uh, Darren Cross. While Marvel went big for Age of Ultron, on for Ant-Man, they go small, uh, literally uh, Marvel's smallest superhero. Once it was released in July 2015, second MCU movie to be released uh, in 2015, uh, uh, it uh, was uh, genuinely uh, favourably received by critics. It, it had a marginally higher Rotten Tomatoes score than Age of Ultron with 82%. Uh, how could I have guessed that uh, incorrectly when I uh, played Rotten or Fresh uh, last month? Uh, Ant-Man's just... Ant-Man's just been called uh, a good MCU movie, but uh, never uh, uh, one of the uh, top five or top ten, uh, specifically. Uh, that's kind of my take on this movie. Uh, Ant-Man is one of the MCU's uh, smaller efforts, uh, both uh, in uh, quality and in quantity. Uh, it's uh, a perfectly fine MCU movie. It's 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 per it's perfectly entertaining. Uh, I know those who call this movie underrated. Angel, I love movies. Uh, Ryan O'Toole and Inside Out Man two thousand and one. Uh, and even uh, the nostalgia critic uh, uh, like this movie uh, better than the majority. Uh, I say it's a harmless uh, pastime uh, for a uh, what this is. Uh, so uh, let's uh, uh, get to my positives. Got slash Ant-Man, he is a, a wonderful and caring father. Uh, he uh, simply wants his daughter Cassie uh, to, to be safe. Uh, so uh, you uh, so you relate to him and side with him. You're like, uh, this uh, dude is, ain't no thief. Uh, he doesn't deserve a jail. Cassie is the cutest little girl uh, Marvel uh, could have gotten uh, ever. Uh, uh, yeah, but uh, she uh, is uh, uh, the emotional centre of this movie and the character you will be attached to uh, the, the most and uh and uh, the the bond uh, uh, with her father is is uh, touching uh, and uh, I uh, would love there to be a sequel to Ant Man uh, to uh, to see uh, Cassie uh, mature into a Ant Man like hero exactly similar to her father and they'd fight crime. Evangeline Lilly as Wasp, uh, Evangeline Lilly uh, is uh, consistently uh, kick-ass. Uh, uh, she goes from Kate from Lost to Turiola from The Hobbits and now Wasp in Ant-Man. An awesome female character who can look out for herself and uh, the uh, visuals uh, which uh, involve uh, uh, Marvel going smaller for a change. Marvel usually uh, go, uh, well, uh, so uh, epic and, and bigger, but this movie is far smaller uh, in scale, and uh, and it's a uh, and it's an original idea, and the visuals are original. Uh, uh, to actually uh, get to, to uh, witness uh, the the world uh, from an ant's eye view, it's amazing. And uh, to uh, meet uh, those ants uh, who are uh, rather uh, uh, larger once uh, you shrink uh, down to their level. Imagine if uh, uh, you uh, met uh, the the giant uh, man-eating ants from horror movies or, or the ants uh, from a bug's life uh, one, once you shrink. Uh, whenever Scott would put on that suit and shrink, that's when the movie would be at its most uh, entertaining. Uh, and uh, the uh, climactic uh, showdown uh, uh, with in uh, Cassie's uh, bedroom uh, with uh, uh, Scott and uh, Darren Cross uh, literally uh, takes place on Cassie's Thomas the 
Ang engine sets. Uh, this finale, in terms of creativity, imagination, and inventiveness, uh, is uh, out of this world, uh, and uh, uh, one of the most underrated MCU uh, final battles also. Uh, if I had... Although, if I had to nitpick, how come Cassie uh, uh, didn't uh, just uh, grab a Darren Cross uh, while uh, he, uh, uh, w Although, if I had to nitpick, uh, why didn't Cassie uh, just grab Darren Cross after he shrunk and just uh, squished him? I'll save you, Daddy. I did it, Daddy. However, Ant-Man isn't my favourite from the MCU, far from it. So, uh, as far as my negatives uh, go, uh, this movie has its fair share. Uh, the story is... Uh, uh, bland, uh, predictable, and plays it safe. Uh, you know, uh, it's uh, a, a, a dude uh, who's attempting to uh, uh, save his company uh, from uh, this uh, Obadiah ripoff villain. Uh, where have we seen that before? Uh, in Iron Man. Uh, yep, uh, the plot uh, has far too many similarities to Iron Man. Uh, and, uh, and the Falcon sequence... Uh, talk about unnecessary. I'm like, uh, that made this movie uh, feel a cinematic universe -y. It's as if the editor of this movie, while he was editing a Falcon solo movie, uh, unintentionally edited the Falcon into Ant-Man. And as to be expected with most of the MCU, the worst thing about Ant-Man is its fucking lackluster villain, whose uh, name uh, I don't even remember. I forgot his name. Uh, his name's Darren Crosser, but seriously, I, I researched uh, his name, uh, and and this character, he's he's nothing but uh, uh, Obadiah all over again from Iron Man, and that villain sucks, uh, so uh, you're ripping off uh, a, a bad villain, and you're making him even worse. Overall, ladies and gentlemen, Ant-Man uh, is a small movie, uh, nothing uh, special, uh, but uh, I'd still uh, uh, recommend it, uh, especially if you're a fan of uh, the Ant-Man comic book character. Uh, this this uh, is actually a, a solid uh, origin story for him. When you think Ant-Man was released uh, the exact same summer as this fucking failure to the superhero genre itself, Ant-Man is infinitely more worth your time. I actually like it uh, a slightly better than Age of Ultron. It's my favourite superhero movie of 2015, even if that isn't uh, saying a great deal. I give Ant-Man three and a half stars out of five. Good movie. So yeah, it may not be the best uh, from the MCU, but it's certainly uh, one of the funnest. Uh, well, I love you guys. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. And what do you think of Ant-Man? Please comment and let me know. Please like this video and subscribe. Please follow me on Twitter and on Google Plus and on Instagram. And I'll see you all next time when I finally uh, equip to Thanos uh, Garnet and uh, uh, join uh, the Avengers uh, in uh, the uh, war uh, uh, against Thanos uh, for... Uh, uh, among my most anticipated movie reviews of 2018, Avengers Infinity War. Stay tuned for that, and remember, movies are us. Bye, guys.